Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange 2, Episode 4. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens... Let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. All Let's right. get this over with. Okay, Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Okay. Uh, call Karen by holding L1 and X. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Okay, let's walk this way. Karen. Everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. My view's kinda great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. Damn it, why can't I go this way? Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. A closed door is a closed heart, she says. Okay. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's... Too cautious not to have a spare set around. Okay. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Good or bad? Confide and convince? 15 steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah. Nice read for a saleswoman. Damn, this is so artless. Okay. The chores list. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Make bed every morning, clean dishes after every meal, vacuum hall and room weekly, take out trash Monday, wash hair every two days. Help with Sunday laundry. Count your blessings daily. Cleanliness next to godliness. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Jesus. I hate how she's manipulated him. And I thought Claire and Steven were old fashioned. The moat and the bean. What's that? Uh, patient name Elizabeth Fisher. Antibiotics for yeast infection. Atville for stress anxiety. Refills allowed. Oh boy. Fire extinguisher. Mm. 
Might be enough to open that door. Let's try to find a key first. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. No wonder she sees God. Look at all the medicine she's on. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Okay, nothing else here. Man, he must not really be allowed to play or anything either. Does she even believe in any of this? Search the drawer. <sighs> Nothing here. There are other drawers, dude. Search the closet. Nothing interesting. The bed. Oh, I swear. Even her bed looks stern. I can't call her. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy after. New diet. He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer. More study. Daniel pouty today after lessons. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver unto us and when? Oh, she is obsessed. It's creepy. Yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. The drawer? Oh, key! Okay, I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Okay. Search other drawers first. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. <clears throat> Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now. Please let Daniel know without getting him or you in trouble that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, but I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you. And if any, if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. Take care, Karen. Jesus. So she got that letter. Hey. I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. Damn. The drawing? What a great fucking family portrait. Oh, God. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. She does. Don't see anything of interest. Well, she smokes. Does that mean she sins? Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Ah, from Michael Bloom to Lisbeth Fisher. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we're all proud of you. But we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom. We hope we find it in your heart to forgive us and we'll be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish. Bless you, Michael. <laughs> She has sinned many times, therefore... Is this Daniel's room? Oh boy. Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. What's in his closet? 
Daniel's sweater. Dad's blanket. Can I also take the sweater? Yes. This is still better than that ugly white shirt she's making him wear. Okay. The letter. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. Dearest Daniel, I know you may never read this, but I had to reach out after witnessing your Holy Spirit last week. I'm a sinner. I have not been a church-going woman for years, but I heard your story from my neighbor about Elizabeth Fish and your miracles. I could feel the Lord whisper to me, and then I drove all the way from Truckee to Haven Point. When I saw your angel face, I knew my faith was coming back. You showed us that God is alive and working through Daniel. You raised the cross, and he raised Jesus. And... I have found my faith again, and I am more strong than ever. You were sent to prove that God's love is real. I am saving money to see you again, and I pray I can be of service forever. Your servant, Lori Conway. P.S. If you want to talk, here's my number. Oh my god. People are crazy! Happy birthday, Daniel. Assignment? What picture is that? Wait. He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Those whom I love I rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. Over and over again. Jesus. Finn's bracelet. Oh, what's the drawing? Oh, they're so cute. Finn's bracelet? No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. The Book of Daniel? So much for a hot dog, man. Jesus. Brainwashing to the extreme. This is quite the change from power bear and friends. 100% Jesus. Can't call her. <sighs> Locked, of course. Try key. <sighs> Shaped. Maybe it opens the other door. Okay, so there's an organ. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? All right, let's try this door. Prick with extinguisher. No, we're trying the key. He just appeared. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? That's curable. And for what I get, Elizabeth knows Damn well, she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... Wanted to cure you from being... Gay? Pretty much. 
I always showed more interest in boys than girls. Are you fucking serious? They thought I was a freak. <sighs> a sinner. And that's why you ran away? Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. What sins? Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I... was in a really bad place. I... I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Then let's make this right. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Better care than here. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Okay. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Closet. Hurry up. Come on, Sean. We need to hide. I'm hiding. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Are you not gonna hide? Dude, I'm already hiding. Oh, he's hiding behind the door? Oh god. Hmm. Weird. Better tell Elizabeth about this. What? Oh, I didn't push the thing back in. Well, fucked up. Okay, I can't call Karen, obviously. What the fuck is going on? What is she doing? Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh, 
Man, that was crazy. I really thought he was gonna catch us. The guy's leaving. Looks like my diversion worked out. Bunch of Bibles. Read anything else? <sighs> yeah. Nice job. Oh, there's a piece of paper. Or a folder just like on the floor. Be here. Are you ready? Almost. Mm -hmm. Let me look in here. I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. Okay. The papers. Oh, the laptop. Is she actually scared of me? Oh, I'm sending you this message as a warning that our church may have disturbed Stalker, who claims to be Daniel's brother. He's a Mexican teenager with one eye between 16 and 18 who calls himself Sean. Do not engage him in any way. If you happen to spot him, do not call the police. Alert me or Nicholas at once. He must not be allowed near Daniel or any of the members of the church. I pray I have not alarmed you, but we have a responsibility to protect ourselves from any outside threat. Oh, God. Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. Yeah, a little bit. Newspapers? Fuck. She's done some serious research. And still acts all naive. She's a liar. Seriously? How can she ignore that? Uh, I hope you will forgive that must feel like an intrusion into your church and beliefs, but I have great respect for what you've built over the last the past decade. I have no doubt the Lord has chosen you for a reason. I am a longtime personal family friend of the Hackermans, including their precious daughter, who has had too long of a time of illness. Blessedly, there is some medical help available that her family has, however, denied due to your advice. They see her pneumonia as a spiritual problem that only you can solve through, through prayer. While I believe that is particularly true, I believe that we have to work with the miracles provided by medicine. I hope you can see the severity of the situation as I feel some personal responsibility for Sarah Lee and her family, who are devout people. I'd like to talk next week if possible and hear your take on this matter. I hope you are not offended by my outreach. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Oh my God. Even though the reverends recognize she's very ill. <sighs> okay. Am I leaving? What's happening? Did I glitch this out? What's in the cupboard? Is that Daniel's? The fuck? What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? <gasps> no! Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. <sighs> Man. God. That's the last thing we need. Okay, are we just going out the front because you're not letting me over there? Come on. Let's get out. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. She yeah. burned the church down? I guess she is. What? So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Oh, boy. Okay, so we gotta go to that back door. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Let's run. Get in through a back door. <sighs> Locked, of course. Can I break it open with something? 
I mean, what was set on fire? Something that way? So you know what you're gonna do? No. Well, let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. Oh, man. I am your humble Sean, servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? And I know. Little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me. No. And you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary, right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Uh. Daniel, listen, she's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Oh, God. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you, how could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know it's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh boy. Holy shit. <sighs> Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. 
Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Oh, God. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wanted to do that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She went to the doctor. I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother, have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. <sighs> she was kicked out of the church. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. Okay. The letter from Karen? I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know. She's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop! Oh, boy. Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- Ugh. Sean! He must learn. Get up. Listen. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't uh, hit him. Uh, Don't let them do that, Daniel. Get up. We are resilient. If I go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And she always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are you going to kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. I'm not. We're getting our brother back and we're getting the fuck out of this hellhole. Nothing, nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. And Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know it. Please! Stop! Leave him alone! Daniel! Listen to him. Ugh. I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Oh boy. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up now! 
Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. No! Thank God. Sorry. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. No. Uh oh. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Moon, let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. No, well, you could Not stay and burn with here. Me alive. Oh no. Ah. Uh. I don't want to ask Daniel to do it, but like if I threaten her, then I'm going to be wanted for. <sighs> I don't want to command him. Like, that's not what he needs right now. Threaten her. I said move! Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. All right, now we'll ask Daniel to move because I don't want to shoot her. Open the door, then. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore. Ugh. tried <laughs> she's too much of a cold-hearted bitch she could die in her church for all I care Someday you understand the meaning of 
I'm happy that didn't turn out, like, terrible. I mean, it did, but it didn't. Oh. My god. That was episode four. That was... my god. Like... I have no problem with people's beliefs and religion and faith. If people decide that upon themselves, it's perfectly fine. But when they're crazy like these people, that they brainwash others, that they push their religion onto people, that... They claim that they're perfect. They claim they're not of sin. That kind of shit really, 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 really gets under my skin. Like, in a very, very bad way. I just do not like it. I'm so glad Daniel is no longer a part of that. But holy crap, the beginning of, like, Haven Point was just, oh my god. I, I have known people in my life to be brainwashed by some stuff. So, like, I think it affected me more on a personal level than it should have. I mean, not as far as cult, but pretty close to it, I guess. But, yeah. Romans 3.23. Uh, you passed both vision tests. 32%. 74%. Are you and 74% told Agent Flores the robbery was Flynn's idea? You and 58% escaped the hospital without hurting anyone. You and 41% didn't talk to Flynn. Oh, so a lot of people forgave him for what happened. Okay. You and 55% broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. Um, you and 44% refused to sing and got beat up. You and 87% got into Anton's truck to reach Haven Point. Oh, thank God. A lot of people trusted him. Uh, you and 65% didn't give money to the church. You and 94% tried to let Karen open up to you. You and 29% stayed outside with Karen when she smoked. Really? Oh, a lot of people smoked a cigarette with her. Okay. You and 77% let her clean up your wound uh you and 61 percent uh nicholas was aware of your presence oh okay so a lot of people went to go sneaking in well not a lot of people but some people uh you and 41 percent didn't give any money to jacob Good. <laughs> we had, like, a grand dude. He doesn't need a grand to go take her to the hospital. Like, no. <laughs> I worked for that money, damn it. You and 68% managed to hide from Nicholas. Uh, you and 70% got Sean and Daniel spared from Lisbeth's... Oh, you, you both spared her life. 4% shot. <laughs> uh... 18% let Daniel unleash his power while, while he was hurting her. And 8% shot Lisbeth while Daniel was hurting her. Oh, good thing I didn't let him hurt her. And this is it. We made it, Daniel. Oh man, we're at the border? What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. Oh boy. This is gonna be bad. 
episode 5. What fate awaits Sean and Daniel in Arizona get the final episode as soon as it's released. Yeah, I, I already have that paid for. So, yeah. But holy crap. What a freaking journey this is turning into. My god. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry this took longer than expected. Uh, but I will be eagerly awaiting episode 5 to see what the hell happens with this. My god. So, until next time, take care everyone, have a good day, and bye bye